Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. Before we start this video, I want to show you some resources that myself and the team at Rebel have been working to perfect. So we uh, are finally able to show you right here the artist pad from Tablet Pro. It works perfectly with Rebel 4.1 and later. I have a tutorial on my resource page for Rebel 4. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with it, it really just gives you all the different tools that you that you want to be using uh, right at your fingertips so you can resize, size, open panels, uh, do basically all the different things that you'd want to be able to do. And switch brushes, all that jazz. Okay, so here is the resource page I have here at the top, the guide that'll tell you what all the different buttons do, this one right here. There's an affiliate purchase link right here, this blue button. If you use that, it'll help me continue development as well as support my family. And I really appreciate you using that. If you need a stylus, I have one on the website as well. This designed for artists and I like it. It's the one I use all the time as opposed to the two service pens I have. So there's tutorials here, right here. There's an introduction. There's the essential series, the brush creator series, and I will have advanced tutorials here as well, including a lot of demos, the PDF, for Rebel 4.1 and later will be hosted here as well. And the artist pad for Tablet Pro, you can find it right here. The install guide for Tablet Pro is right here as well. And that will walk you through setting up the artist pad that you saw uh, just a moment ago. Let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. If you guys are using a stylus to do digital art on a Windows 10 tablet, this is a fantastic channel for you. So subscribe right now. Hi, this is Justice. In this video, we're going to be talking about the four wet and the four dry media. So let's go ahead and grab the tools panel and we're going to bring it to the center of the screen. And on the left side, these four ink, watercolor, acrylic, and oil are our wet media. On the right is pencil, pastel, marker, and airbrush. These are your dry media. Now they have different settings for these types of media, wet and dry. So we're going to pull over the properties panel and you can see that the wet media have different paint modes one through five are the keyboard shortcuts so paint number one paint and mix number two paint and blend number three blend number four and erase now if we go over from the ink and to the watercolor you're going to see that watercolor has one additional setting this is our transparency mode transparency is going to go from transparent to opaque and after we get to the oil brushes, I'm going to demonstrate that for you. Acrylic and oil have the same settings. So acrylic and oil have another setting called dirty brush, and that's going to make your brush behave more like a dirty brush. So if you have a brand new paintbrush every single time that you get a new color or you switch to a new color, that's going to be what it's like when dirty brush is off. And if you have that turned on, it's going to feel like you're using the same brush in real life for all your different color choices. So the next thing that we're going to look at, let's go ahead and lay down some color here. Okay, now we have some colors laid down and we're going to go to watercolor and I'm going to show you those transparency modes. Let's choose transparent and let's use a nice red. And as we go over the top of those colors, you can see that it doesn't cover over those. It's not opaque, it's transparent. Now, if we switch this to opaque, if we go over those colors here, you can see that it maintains that red color over the top of all the underlying colors. Now, in between the different dry media, there are different sizes and settings that are applied to each of these. Now, you can copy from the brushes. You can take one brush, copy the brush presets, go to a different brush and then paste those brush presets over into the other brush. It will not behave the same way, even with all the same settings inside of the brush creator. So the brush creator is going to have different internal settings for each of these different type of media. So if you adjust max size up to 700 and then you adjust your size right here, a pencil is still going to be smaller than an oil brush. And that's one of the things you want to keep in mind. Even if these appear to have the exact same settings, 
the engine underneath for each of those individual types of media is going to create a different effect. So here with pencils, let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. I'm using a washi canvas because the canvas really makes a difference. If you want to get that perfectly realistic pencil experience, this is the way to do it. Okay, so we have washi selected already. I'm going to click OK. I have my personal pencil. And here you can see we've got this really great, just perfectly grainy pencil line. If I turn the pencil sideways, you can see that I can shade. If I choose blend, I can blend this the same way. And the way it would look if I was using my finger to push that graphite around the paper. And then I can erase the same way and get these really, really fantastic, very accurate pencil strokes, which just don't exist in most programs. It's very, very, very hard to find a good pencil. All right, so let's go ahead and clear this layer. And let's put some pencil strokes here on the screen. And then we're going to blend this out. So good. So good. All right, let's look at the stock pencil brushes. And my brushes will be available in the brushes download area, so you guys can use those. So here is the stock one. Very similar to mine. Doesn't get quite as dark and does not have the tip tilt turned on, but it's pretty good. Okay. So you can see these different pencils actually respond the way that you would expect them to, like a 4H, uh, 2H, H, HB. Let's scoot this over. Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking for 2B. Let's try HB again. Did I set this? Ooh, I did set it. Okay, so we'll reset that. There we go. All right, let's reset this too. Yeah, you can see here, the, the pencils are really great. Okay, let's look at charcoal and let's do this the way it's supposed to be done. All right, our charcoal. Again, these are tilt sensitive. So you can see how I can move that around the screen. Let's undo that just so we can see here. Uh, charcoal, large charcoal. Really, really great. Again, let's look at our dry media here, textured. These are really, really cool because I, I like doing pencil sketches, grayscale stuff, but I don't really like doing all of the cross hatching or all of the shading um, for everything the same way. So these are some nice little uh, cheats, uh, especially these one down here, the uh, scratches. Really nice. And again, you can switch to blending and blend that out and get this, this really beautiful, sketchy blend. Okay, you get the point. All right, so you can see here the pencils. Let's go ahead and look at the pastels. all the different types and styles of pastel. I really like these um, square and triangle brushes. They're so fun. Again, especially when you can control that, that tilt. And let's look at the markers. Now the markers are very, very transparent. Basically the way that we'd expect. Let's put some colors down with oil brush.
and switch back to the markers. Let's bring the size up. And the markers are very transparent, so you can see these colors underneath. It has this multiplying effect, uh, just like markers in real life. So you can build, and you can blend, and all of these work with the natural color blending. All of the dry media work with the natural colors option here to create much better true-to-life color blending. So you can see yellow and blue make this beautiful green color, which has been really improved in Rebel 4. Just the way I would like this to, to behave. And then there's the airbrush, which you can make really large if you'd like. It's the largest tool in the set of dry media. So you can make these very large airbrush strokes and adjust it the way you want. There's a couple of different styles. And all of the tools you can change dramatically by picking different shapes and grains and adjusting all the different settings here inside of the brush crater. If you guys have questions about the four wet or the four dry media, please put it in the comment section. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.